Hello, this is the second unit of personal investment management. In this unit, we are discussing about why investment is needed. So, need for investment and what are the areas of investment policy. So, in our previous presentations, we have discussed in unit 1, saving, circular flow concepts and investment. Uh, the objective of this unit is to give conceptual clarity on savings and investments and at the end of the sessions you will be able to know uh, and demonstrate the skills, the principles of investment. Uh, why investment? So investment has to be understood in two perspectives, two important roles rather we can say from the micro perspective. Macro means individual, looking things in an individual point of view. So it's worm's eye view we call it. It, uh, we are looking at the from individual point of view and macro means from the general economic point of view, a bird's eye view. First, look, look, let's look into the macro uh, perspective. It changes aggregate demand. Aggregate demand is the total demand, the concept which is given again by J.M. Keynes, the total demand of all goods and services in an economy is called aggregate demand. And then it uh, leads to capital accumulation and economic growth. So uh, additional capital is uh, brought about and additional growth, economic growth happens and economic development also happens because this is macro perspective. And the micro per uh, perspective from the individual point of view, investment ensures realization of dreams. People have lots of dreams like construction of house, construction of, uh, uh, you know, uh, their own uh, okay, houses or whatever, or, uh, you know, marriage functions or owning a car, owning vehicles, all these kinds of the dreams. So investment ensures the realization of dreams of people. It makes future individuals secure. They are sure in their rainy days, they'll get uh, the proper income. And the rainy days in the means of difficult times, they'll be able to uh, get, uh, you know, regular income. It also controls individual spending patterns. So if you are having an investment, proper investment, you to, for the investment purpose, you spend less now. So you try to accumulate money and you invest in the right perspective. So that is from the individual point of view. Let's go to why to invest. So we have some points here to discuss. To grow your money, that's the first point. That is to grow your money. So grow money doesn't <laughs> grow in trees. It is growing. So money is the most liquid asset, but cash itself doesn't fetch you any return. So it is a waste. Unless you invest somewhere, your cash is waste investment. It has to be used productively, productively by giving opportunities of a mutual gain for the person who need and person who has access at the, for the time being. The businessman has got a lot of opportunity to make money. So, but they lack money. They need money. So who has got the money access? The individuals, other people, salaried people or other people. They have lots of money with them. Excess money, saving, that can be used by the business. So the where the money is excess, excess, where the money is shortage, that can be bridged by investment. To save for retirement, the future earning capacity of individuals decline over a period of time. As the age advances, the body will become feeble. So the person has to take a rest most cases or else work for a paltry sum. The best option is to save and secure future. Why to invest to reach financial goals? Individuals will have future financial needs um, like house construction, owning vehicles, children education plan, marriage and social functions and pilgrimage. These require huge sum of, sums of money through investment. People can reach and realize the dreams and goals. The next thing is that to expand your business to start up own venture because you know that in the modern day the you know job the fixed job is hard to come because the government sector and the private sector also cannot give jobs to all the people so in turn you have to start your own venture you require some at least some amount of savings of course banks and other mudra loans and a lot of loans are available startup loans but then you need some kind of basis that will be good for you uh, instead of always going for a loan fund one fund will be having more utility for you that's why you require fund so you need to invest in some security so that you can procure it at 
at the time of starting your business. To expand your existing business also, you need investment to expand your existing business at the later stages, you need funds right now. To acquire new skills, to acquire new skills, see, you need to update always. So, updation is a must for successful, to become a successful businessman, a successful venture, or successful person. So, what happens is that you need to uh, keep aside some portion of your current fund for that purpose as well. Because you may need uh, to acquire new skills in the future days, so that requires maybe going for higher studies, going for courses, going for you know, studying the latest things, technologies, etc., which require new skills. So, which require investment as well. To upgrade the status of current business. So, to uplift your current status of business also you require a lot of funds. And, of course, uh, the man is a social animal. He has got families, friends, society. So, you need to uh, save some money. You have to invest some money and it will be useful for, you know, protecting your family, protecting your friends and society. You, as a socially responsible individual, you have so many obligations to discharge your societies as well. So, for that, you require some kind of funds. Uh, so, say investment will definitely help you to, you know, do all these things. So, case for investment, draw, uh, investment is required for drawing a personal financial roadmap. So, exactly when you, you, you require your expenses, you know, for example, your your uh, uh, children's education children's education is one of the important things when you for, for them for professional courses they may require money so currently you might have invest so at the end of that 18 years or 20 years of the children's age you can withdraw and use that money for that purpose to evaluate comfort zone in taking on risk so you can just evaluate where uh, uh, you know comfort zones for taking on risk to conserve an appropriate mix of investment uh, create a and maintain emergency fund. So that is what investment is required. Pay off high interest credit cards. Consider cost averaging. Take advantage of free money from employer. So investment policy. So here, investment policy is all about looking three important blends, three important aspects of investment. Whenever we go for investment, people look into three important things. One is liquidity. Liquidity means ability to convert that investment into cash quickly. So that is liquidity. Second thing is safety. Safety means that uh, you end of the investment, you need to get the maturity of period. You need to get the exact amount back, original investment back, as well as you need to get regular income in the form of uh, uh, various uh, cash inflows like income in from investment of uh, shares or bonds or whatever, maybe the interest from fixed deposit, whatever it may be. That is a regular flow of fund. You should get it. There should not be some default. So if you are able to ensure that, that's called safety, profitability, and also the rate of return you're going to earn should be matching with you know your requirement. So you need to get profitability as well. So these are the three things you need to look into. So an investment policy is one, which is a right blend of this. It should also provide liquidity and safety as well as it should earn a proper rate of return for investment. So area of investment policy, now where the, the which areas you can, uh, looking into this, where, looking into, you know, safety, security or safety, uh, then uh, profitability and uh, liquidity, you can think of various securities. So. Uh, we will just discuss one by one some securities which is uh, you know invest uh, which comes under the area of investment policy. So first one is government security. Government security is a security tradable financial instrument issued by central government or state government. It could be from the central government or state government. It acknowledges of uh, acknowledgement of government's debt. It is an acknowledgement that government has government owes you. They consist of short term securities and long term securities. So why you have to invest in the government securities? Government security is one advantage of government security is that you are safe. It is a safe investment because government will not fail. That is assumption. So now let's look into the uh, uh, some of the instruments. So treasury bills. It's a money market instrument issued by the government of India. Money market instrument. So there are two type, kinds of markets which we'll discuss later. Capital market and money market. Money market is a market which is main, main player is a banker. So banker and RBI. So the transaction between bankers and RBI. 
central bank and the commercial banks so it is issued by government of india it comes with varying maturity period like 91 days 180 days and 364 days maximum so that is less than one year the maturity period of this is less than one year it's zero coupon rated bond issued at a discount see uh, this is zero coupon rate zero coupon rate means specified rate so this bond treasury bills there is no percentage of interest but what the investor get is that the difference between the face value at the time of issue uh, sorry face value and disc, uh, the and uh, issue value issue value will be less than face value issued at uh, you know for example if the face value is 100 it may be issued at 99 or it could be issued at 90 rupees so the 10 rupees that is the difference the difference is what the profit they get uh, on that uh, rate of percentage we can uh, calculate or percentage that can be calculated next is uh, cash management bills or cmb issued by government of india in consultation with reserve bank of india to meet short term mismatches in the cash flow of government uh, its cash management bills it's issued by the government of india in consultation with rbi to meet short term mismatches in the cash flow of government similar to treasury bill but issued for maturities less than 91 days uh then area of investment policy bonds uh we look into the bonds are uh, the long term securities long term means period of more than one year fixed rate bonds or it's also called coupon rate it's fixed for the entire life of the bond so the rate is fixed the debt to securities issued by government is termed as bonds in india so there is a conceptual difference between bond and bond and debentures so government of india whatever it is issued is called bond so government security is called bond whereas private security is called private loan this is like a loan government takes loan from the individual that is called bond whereas private people take loan from individuals by issue of security that is called debenture but in united states in its debentures and bonds are used the same parallel they don't call it as debentures they call it as bond anyway these are long term instruments so gov in this you get a fixed rate of fixed rate of interest floating rate bonds does not bear fixed coupon rate this this bond does not have any fixed rate fixed rate date is not rate is not specified the rate is reset at regular period of interval in this case uh, every time six months or periodically that will be you know reset change it's a similar to treasury bills but are issued for maturities of less than 91 days it's it's of less than 91 days then uh, so this is a short term so bond is a long term floating rates bonds are short term zero coupon bonds it's a similar to uh, t bills so it is it is uh, no rate but then discount it will be sold and at the time of uh, maturity it will you realize the face value then again zero coupon bonds bonds with no coupon tag rates akin to treasury bills issued at discount it was in vogue during 90s now it is not there so in 90s it was uh, in uh, circulation then coming to the state development loans it's raised by the state governments interest is paid half yearly principal is paid on maturity so other investment uh, area of investment policy other approved securities commercial papers commercial papers as unsecured short term instrument issued by large banks with fixed maturity certificate deposit unsecured negotiable short term bearer instrument issued by commercial banks repurchase agreement money market open market operations instrument it is used by bankers repurchase agreement repo or reverse repo we call it commercial bill market short term negotiable and self liquidating instrument with low risk so this is all about investment policies so investment policy and investment decisions which uh, we discuss right now uh this is end of this session thank you